Hi there everyone, I'm Danny, and welcome to this episode of All Monsters Go To Space. Today I'm going to bring you a video on the Squonk. This creature is said to be about the size of a Pomeranian or a smallish pig, and it comes from northern Pennsylvania, in the Hemlock Forest specifically. It's a sad little being with a hideous visage. Its skin is very loose, much like a Sharpe, and scaly, with warts all over and webbed left feet, and because of this, it cries a lot. It's yet another creature in mythology that cries simply because of its appearance. The Squonk is said to be a very shy being who hides away from everyone and everything. Due to its shy nature, it only travels around at twilight or dusk, the times when most people aren't out and about and on moonlit nights they are said to be at their slowest. Now because of its constant crying, and on some nights its slowness, it can be easily tracked and caught, and rather than tracking its footprints, you could actually just follow its trail of silvery tears. There is a part of this creature's legend that says someone once caught a squonk and put it in a hessian sack. On the way home, the hunter felt the sack become lighter. He looked inside and the creature was gone, and only a puddle of liquid was left. When this creature is threatened and frightened, it can actually dissolve completely into tears, hence its Latin name, Lacrimocorpus dissolvens. Now apparently the earliest written record of this creature is from 1910, in the book Fearsome Creatures of the Lumberwoods by William T. Cox, and these creatures have actually featured in a couple of pieces of popular culture. On the album A Trick of the Tale by Genesis, one of the songs is called Squonk, and it tells the tale of the hunter that I talked about earlier. Daniel Cuffrey writes a play titled Gregor and the Squonk, and in 1996, Nancy Springer penned a short story called Birdsong, which can be found in Bruce Cavill's Book of Magic. It is a tale of a girl who meets a squonk, although in this story, the squonk takes the form of a bird and not a pig-like creature. And last but not least, in 2002, Glenn David Gold penned and had published a short story called The Tears of Squonk and What Happened Thereafter. And that's all we have on this poor, unknown little creature. If you liked this video, please leave a like, subscribe and hit that notification bell. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video, in the comments section and on Twitter. Bye!